Hello, my name is George Aguilar. I'm the training manager here at Clayval headquarters in Costa Mesa, California. In today's video, we're going to be discussing and providing you with a live demonstration on the startup of our 90 series pressure reducing valves. Let's get started. So in this video here, we're going to talk about a startup on our pressure reducing valve or our 90 series, um, a startup um, or just bringing your valve online, uh, the procedures to, uh, to go through. So this here is our standard 90-01. Um, again, one of the first things that we want to do is make sure that we have our IOM. All right, we have our installation operation maintenance guide. Um, it gives you the operation and, uh, and startup procedure on the left-hand side. Again, this also gives you a troubleshooting chart on the right. On the back side, you have your schematic, your exploded view of your main valve, your components on the right, and again, most importantly, you have your CRD adjustment range chart. This adjustment range chart is based on your spring ranges, your spring colors, and the PSI change per turn on each of those springs. The CRD that we currently have on this valve here is uh, 30 to 300, which is a green spring. So the PSI per turn rate is 27. These CRDs, if it's a newly purchased valve or newly installed valve, these are set, preset at the factory at 60 PSI. The one that we currently have here is gonna be set at around 40. Um, so it's important to know where you're at. You can also get these preset um, at the factory. If we're following along on the operation and uh, the IOM, one of the first items that we talk about is our speed controls, making sure that our speed controls are completely backed out. So we'll go counterclockwise, make sure that that speed control is backed all the way out. These speed controls are fine tuning instruments here. Um, these, are, these are to be used and to be adjusted when your valve's actually running in your system, making those changes on the fly, um, seeing what your, if your system is, you know, if the valve is moving, if it's chattering, that's where those speed controls will come into play. You won't, you won't see any of that on the initial startup. So we wanna start with those all the way out. This is our opening speed control. Again, if we have a closing speed control, it may be uh, installed here, maybe on the back side, uh, but you wanna make sure you take both of those and back those all the way out. So first we're gonna need some pressure. Um, before we bring this online, just to make note, our downstream gate valve, our downstream gate valve is closed. All right, we do have ball valves on this valve. We have our number one, which is our inlet. We have number two, which is our cover. And then we have our number three ball valve here. This is our outlet. What I like to do is I like to start with this outlet ball valve closed. And again, our downstream gate valves closed as well. So let's get some pressure going here. You can see our pressure starting to build up. There's our 60. Now the pressure that you see right here on this downstream gauge, this is within our pilot system. All right, this gauge right here, this is our actual system pressure. So you'll see that this valve stayed closed on that initial startup. And again, that's because we're keeping this number three ball valve closed. So we have zero pressure in our system. This pressure is within our pilot system and we have 60 PSI coming from our system side. So the first thing that you wanna do is you wanna make sure that we bleed any air at your high points. So our high points will be right here. We have an X101 installed on our valve. Our X101s have a little bleeder on the top. We'll loosen that up slightly till we get that little run of water, get that air out. You also want to bleed any air at your high points of your tubing. So in this case, I'd loosen that up right there, get that flow of water. And we're good. So now, again, if, if, you're, not, if you're unsure of where you're setting on your CRD is, all right, uh, you can make those adjustments. I'll show you how to use our 
X141TA. This is our CRD tester. Um, this is used in those cases where you cannot flow water within your system. But right now we're going to assume that we can flow. In order to set this in a, in a flowing condition, we're going to have to open up our downstream uh, gate valve. We have to get some flow. So number one, what we'll do is we're going to open up our number three. Slowly open up number three. Again, there's zero pressure on our outlet side right now. All right. We'll open up number three. If we look at our, our flow meter here on our VC22, you see that there is no flow. So now we have to make sure we open up that downstream gate valve. We'll open that up. We'll get some flow going here. There we go, 76. It doesn't have to be a lot of flow in order to set your CRD. But most importantly, you need some type of flow downstream. If you cannot open up that gate valve, um, this is why it's important that you have gauges as well. Because if my pressure here is not moving, if this pressure matches what my inlet pressure is, then that valve or your gate valve, you're not flowing any water. So you got to make sure you're flowing something. So now that we've got our flow, we're looking at about 120 GPM right now. The customer has requested to set this valve at 35 PSI. So what we're gonna do is, again, we're gonna look at that IOM that I referenced earlier. You're gonna see what your PSI per turn is. Clockwise will always increase your CRD set point. Counterclockwise is going to decrease. You always wanna make your adjustments slow. So here we are, let's get to that 35 slowly if you initially do not see any change in your downstream pressure let the system react give some time for the for the valve to react to the changes that you're making you don't want to make your adjustments quick you don't want to make your adjustments uh, uh, too much too far just make your adjustments slow allow the system uh, time to react. We'll drop it down a little bit more. Right about there is our 35 PSI set point. Again, making sure that you have flow downstream. So let's back up a little bit. Let's show you guys the other way of, of setting this. So what we're going to do is we're going to close our downstream gate valve. And we've closed number three. So we're right back where we started, just before we bled the air. All right, our number three is still closed. You can see our pressure's dropping on our system side. Now again, this is, this is how I would set the valve, based on the fact that you can't flow any water downstream. Again, if that gate valve is closed, uh, you would need some type of hose bib, uh, some type of drain, anything to relieve that downstream pressure or I mentioned earlier, you can use our X141 CRD tester, our X141TA. Our CRD has three connections. We have one inlet, there's only one inlet. This port here and this port here are both common. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go three, close number two, close number one, Again, by closing all those ball valves, we've isolated our pilot system. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this connection going into the CRD. Okay, so we've removed our connection to our CRD. Now we're gonna take our CRD tester So we got our, our CRD tester threaded in there. All right, we're gonna close the ball valve on our CRD tester. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up because we still have our inlet pressure. Remember, we opened up that inlet gate valve earlier. 
So we still have our inlet pressure of 60 PSI. And now what we've done is we've brought that 60 PSI to the pilot itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna slightly open We'll slightly open our, our ball valve on our CRD just so we get a little bit of flow. So we get a little bit of flow here and now when we make our adjustments to our CRD, you can see that change and that setting of that CRD. So you can see I've brought that up to about 50 there. There's our 40. Now, if we want to get to our customer requested 35 PSI, we'll drop that down. There's our 35. And now our CRD is set. So let's close our number one. And let's remove our test assembly. All right, so now we removed our X141 TA, our CRD tester. We got our tubing connection back on there. Now it's important to know that when you set your CRD by using this tester, this tester is only, it's only seeing this little bit of pressure right here. So your CRD is going to need a slight difference in adjustment when you actually bring it online. But it's good to have this, it's nice to have this on there to get your CRD setting close to the setting that you want. Um, it also verifies that the CRD is working. So now, all we need to do is actually bring that pre water pressure into the system. So what we'll do is we're going to open up number one. Again, this brings water pressure onto the cover. We open up number two. This, at this point, you would bleed your air out of all your high points. And then we're going to open up number three, slowly filling that line. And now we'll slowly open our downstream gate valve and let some, and let some flow going through there. So now you'll see again our, our setting uh, when we used our tester was at 35. You'll see we're just under 35, but because we have that 30 to 300 spring, all we have to do is make that slight adjustment to get to that 35. All right, so again, you will be a little bit off by using that test assembly, but it, it, it's nice because you get to see your CRD working and you're close. You're just making small adjustments once you get your, your system running. Now we'll do a shutdown. That concludes the video today. Thanks for stopping by and watching. For further videos or any other questions, please visit our website. Have a great day.